What is going on, y'all? So I am not going to take up a ton of time in the intro. Uh, I know y'all want to get straight to the point, which is going to be the title of this video, the Snap-on BK7000 uh, high-definition bore scope. I'm going to get into some of the features it has. I've got an engine down here that I pulled from like a 2009 or 2010 Civic. Uh, engine was running fine, so there's no issues with it, but it'll give us a good idea of getting some good pictures and whatnot. Like I said, I'm going to go over all the features of it. Apologize, I haven't posted a video in a while. It's been crazy. Y'all hear that enough on everybody's YouTube channel. <clears throat> so like I said, I'm not going to go into anything detailed. If you like this type of content, tool reviews, shop advice, funny reels, shorts, whatever you want to call them, uh, feel free to like and subscribe. It helps the channel. I'm sure you've heard that a thousand times, but it really does help us out. So truly appreciate it. I'm going to get you off the tripod here. If you've been around for long enough, you know I don't do much editing, so um, I apologize for that. But like I said, I'm gonna try to get right into the uh, video and the tool here. So what we have is the BK7000 high definition bore scope. So a couple features right off the bat that I wanna show you. You can switch the controls from one side to the other. So you just hit that button. And if you want the controls on one side or the other, that's the way you do that. And as you can see, there's some glare. So I apologize for that. It's going to be tough to get rid of that because the tool is so shiny. You can also adjust the brightness of the light. So let's see if I can get that in here. Um, see the light on the end of the camera gets brighter or darker. And then you, if you want to get rid of that, you just press that again. This is your gallery for where your pictures and videos go. So here's a video that I took. I just wanted to have some pre-recorded stuff to not take up as much time and try to record while I was recording for YouTube as well. So that's that. You can also, when you do that, you can edit the title of the video, which is nice. On the video, you can't add any text or anything of that nature, but on pictures, you can. And so what I figured out is Wherever you touch, so if I touch there and then I go to text, it will put the text wherever I touch. So let's see, I'm gonna go here and then text. Oh, maybe, yep, okay, here we go. So see, I touched there and that's where the text went. So that's where the, I had already put this here, this side, and I just put cylinder three damaged piston. It's not a damaged piston. Like I said, the engine ran fine, um, but I was just trying to give an example. So I, when I did that, as you can see, the text came off the picture. I didn't realize that wherever you touched is where the text goes. You can also change the color of the text if you'd like, and you can also uh, add a voiceover. So you can record and do a voiceover and save that for the customer. Uh, if you know anything about the industry, which if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you do, the uh, cover, like CYA, the old saying, um, is good. As much information and uh, data that you can have and save on any vehicle, on any job that you're doing, the better. So anytime you can cover yourself, it's good. So here's another picture I took. Um, all right, so let's go back. So there's our camera and it's obviously our piston there. So what I'd like to do is show you guys the light a little better. All right, so we'll turn that off. Like I said, you can change it from photo to video. So there's photo to video. Then you can also go to the side camera. So there's a side camera, which is for your valves, which give me a second here and I will try to adjust that and get you guys a good shot of the valves. So this is one of the coolest features is you don't have to have one of those like mirror adapters because the side camera gets such a good, sorry. Like I said, I'm trying to do this and record at the same time. So it makes it a little difficult. I'm not using two hands here, but, um, so, oh geez, sorry guys. So anyways, so as you can tell, it takes good pictures, good quality there. 
And what I'd like to do, let's see if it'll sit there. I can show you, you can zoom in on the picture and zoom out if you want. So if there's like a something specific that you wanna zoom in or zoom out on, you can do that, which makes it really nice. And then obviously the easy part is you just take a picture there, whatever you're trying to take a picture. And then this is both. So if you want the front and the side camera, you can take a picture of both whatever it's viewing. So there's valves and then there's your piston of course as well. So, which is also really nice. And then same thing, you just take a picture and it screenshots it, no big deal. And then there's also a rear facing camera. Oops, sorry. So one thing I, I will say, I wish it did, like as soon as you made your selection, I wish this um, menu would just go away. There's also some filters. I've not found a really good use or good point for those yet. Um, but I'm sure there is some, so you can auto off it. You can adjust your screen brightness. You can have a timestamp, which once again, cover yourself. That way it timestamps the pictures, connect to Wi-Fi for your updates. I was hoping that it connected to Altus cloud. It automatically uploaded the photos, but I don't think it does. Not quite sure what the Bluetooth's for yet because, uh, I did Bluetooth. It didn't find anything. So I'm not sure if that's something they're planning on adding later. Uh, and then there's your microphone speaker volume cancel and then it has your manual in here so you can click and, and look through your manual uh, and if you need a factory reset but that's pretty much it so overall it's really nice I like the fact like I said that you can take pictures and video I like the fact that you can add the text which is a really good feature adjust the brightness of the light on the borescope itself it's uh, I think it's said it was three and a half millimeters or six and a half millimeters so it will fit inside of glow plugs on diesels um, so that is an option as well. So it is super tiny. And then as you can see, there's your camera and then there is your side camera. So super nice. If you guys have any questions, feel free to throw them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer anything I can. Um, as time progresses, I will put this to use some more. I will post some videos. If you're not following me on Instagram, uh, check us out there. That's where I post a lot more constant updates and such, but I'll always post my shorts and of course these videos uh, more in depth on YouTube as well. So appreciate y'all supporting the channel. Really, really do appreciate that. As always, like and subscribe if you like this type of content. Thanks, bye-bye.